Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for people to jump on. And I'm gonna go on my iPad and at least my... Can you answer your questions on there? Well, I sometimes it, my questions and my like number of viewers don't show up on this, so I have to like have it on a separate thing as well. So are people watching right now? I don't know, babe. We'll have to see. Well, no, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. I have one it viewer. It says live. How people are watching you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get out of the picture. <laughs> oh, now I don't have a viewer. Mom. So? They it says plus two. Long, now right? it says three. Huh, what? They, they hear you? This is like a whole family event, guys. Everyone <laughs> is so excited that I'm live. I'm trying to pull it up on my iPad so they can see your questions. Yeah. I'm mom. This is Dad. <laughs> You're very She's excited. Too. <laughs> okay, let me turn this down. Okay. Hey, Caitlin. See, I do have comments and they're not showing up on there, so I'm going to keep it up on here, too. Okay. Let me see if I can... <coughs> okay. Well, it's not showing me my comments, and I'm going to go ahead and start because I'm not sure how long this is going to take. There's a little bit of a lag between this, like what they're seeing and what we're doing. Okay. So. But so the NSA can watch it and make sure you're not watching. Oh, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> the NSA can watch. Okay, so my mom, you can pick out any color acrylic paints you want. Uh, they sell this brand at Walmart. It's 50 cents a bottle for this. Um, and then you can also buy these thicker popsicle sticks for mixing. Um, if some of you use the thicker ones for epoxy, same thing. You can also use the thin ones, it doesn't really matter. It's just easier with the wider one to mix a little better. So, um, right now she's gonna be doing, I know I do always have problems with my comments, but it's typically only on my like giant iPad, but my smaller one picks up better. Um, so anyway, she picked out these colors, like rainbow colors, and she has seven plastic cups off to the side um, that she will have her paints in. So I'm going to show you how I mix my paints and um, how we then put it into the cup. She's, I'm going to show her the flip cup uh, dirty pour, and then I'm going to do a flip cup and a dirty pour kind of thing. So I'm gonna pour around where the flip cup went to get it all on the edges and stuff. So what you're gonna do, and I'll show you one cup and then you can like follow after me. Put in um, about that much paint. You don't have to do that much paint. I just like to have extra just to be sure that it covers the entire canvas. Today we're doing a 12 by 12 canvas. So if you want, you can pour each of your colors into there. It's in separate cups. In separate cups, yep. Hey Kelly, hey Krista, hey Willa, oh hey Don. There's a lot of people in here right now. Oh, okay, good. I'll help you out. I didn't put as much as you did. Well, you do want to put in enough. Well, you don't... <laughs> It's I don't just how much waste you. It. Well, it's not. It's not gonna be wasted. We're in Florida right now, and so I don't really want to like bring paints back home with me to Virginia on the plane. We can send it to you. <laughs> so we did those. My boyfriend and my dad are like sitting here watching us right now. They think this is really interesting. It's hilarious to me. Okay. I just want to make sure we have enough to cover the canvas. And then, orange, perfect. You didn't do orange, right? No, I need some more yellow. I think this is okay. it. Yeah, well, uh, my boyfriend and I are down in Florida visiting my parents right now. We flew in yesterday and we got all the snow yesterday too. We didn't think we'd oh, make yeah, it. Two Did we already do that? Oh my God, Krista, that's so funny because my mom, I'm adopted. <laughs> <laughs> they said we're twins. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but people always smile. say that. Like they, they told my grandma when I was like a kid that I looked so much like her, which was so funny. 
Okay, so with the glue, and I get Elmer's glue all, not school glue. Um, so this is the one that I use. Just gonna leave that there for a second so that you can kind of like make notes or whatever you're doing. And then the Apple Barrel is the paint brand that we're using today. Um, it doesn't really matter what acrylic paint, but those are 50 cents at Walmart. So if you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, you can always do the Apple Barrel and then the glue all as well. So um, when you're doing your glue, you're gonna do like a third ratio of what you did with the paint to the glue. So here, I'll give you this one. Thank you. They didn't have a bigger um, glue bottle. Wait, I never told you like the girl that works in the books. Dad, you know the show You've Got yeah. Mail? That should be enough. It's, it's not an exact science. I just want to make sure we have enough glue because we only have two bottles. Um, Dad, have you seen You've Got Mail? Mm -hmm. Someone said that I look like the girl that works at the bookstore. Who is that? You don't know. Is this enough? Yeah, it should be. Ooh, oh, yeah, much. that's good because I need glue too for when I do mine. It's coming out. I know it's coming out. It's okay. Um... People tell me all the time my oldest looks like me and she's not biologically mine either. Yeah, Krista, it's like, um, I guess we have similar mannerisms. That might be why mm -hmm. we um, like the way that we do certain things. <laughs> that might be why um, people think we look like. I'll put you over here so that you can see the canvas a little better and I'll bring you closer when we start like pouring and stuff. Okay. okay, so we used our apple barrel acrylic paint and we used Elmer's glue all again for those of you who missed that instead of school glue right here where it would say it says glue all um, we have Liquitex and I ordered this off Amazon because honestly I didn't find it in stores in um, where was I I guess I was in Michaels and I didn't see it there but it's called Liquitex pouring medium and I'm sorry that it's not really adjusting all the way but that's okay and so this helps it, um, uh, it thins the paint a little bit. It's like a paint thinner, pretty much. And we're just gonna put in, we're gonna do it a little bit at a time and we're gonna mix it and make sure that the paint is thin. You want the paint to be thin because when you go to like turn your canvas, you want it to cover the whole thing and run all over it. So we'll start with the orange. And I just put in a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one so that my mom can see. It's still pretty thick. Mm -hmm. See, you don't want it to be this thick. See how it's like chunky still, like a normal paint? If you want, you can mix these ones. Here, I'll give you a stir stick for all of them. And, um, Get the glue mixed in with the paint while you wait for me to figure this out. Jody, I will uh, click your comment in, when we're done to see who you're talking about. That's so funny. Um, so I'm gonna pour in a little more Liquitex. You can also use water. I've been successful with water and not having, uh, like I haven't had Liquitex until today, to be honest. So. Um, you can just use water to thin it out, but some I've heard from different videos that some people do have an issue with uh, Water and certain brands of acrylic paint. It kind of messes it up a little bit so um, But with the apple barrel you shouldn't have an issue if you mix water to thin it out And that's still thick I want to thin it out a little bit more Max, the dog, wants to say hi, too. Yeah. I've seen a lady use, like, coconut hair, like, stuff. Yeah, so, Jessica, I, I tried the, the um, coconut hair oil stuff. Maybe I didn't mix in enough, but I didn't really get any cells with it. Um, so, uh, speaking of which, uh, a little bit of a forewarning. Um, 
If your canvas tends to sag a little bit, you can either spritz a little bit of water before starting your work on the bottom of the canvas. I heard that some people tape up the bottom of their canvas so that it doesn't sag. Also, when you're pouring your paint off, you wanna make sure that you're pouring enough off because if you have too much paint in it, it'll uh, dry like cracked. You don't want that to happen. Um, or it will kind of, the weight will push down the canvas a little bit and it will also not dry correctly and you won't get the effect that you want in the end. Um, okay, I'm just gonna be a little more liberal with this, I guess. Not so conservative. Uh, but kind of, to be honest, I'm not sure what the glue does in all of this, but that's what everybody uses in all the videos that I've watched. So I use the glue. You do not want but the liquid text right now is supposed to act as paint thinner and it's not really doing much. So, so maybe not use it. we might not use it. Oh, that'll give us around. bubbles. But Did that's you okay. Shake this up? You're not supposed to, I don't think. How would you know that? <laughs> he wouldn't, he wouldn't, it's not his fault. Maybe we'll get some water. Cause that's too thick. You don't want your paint to be thick or else it won't water. run. I got it. He's getting it, she's getting it. Not ideal for mixing oils, ideal for pouring the soap. Maybe we'll still do like, I'll do that much. So if you want to mix those up. I'm just doing like a teaspoon in these colors that we have now. I don't know why the water or the liquid text wasn't doing it. So you're gonna go a little bit of water at a time because you can always add, but you can never take it out. My dad always told me that. <laughs> she listened. Sometimes. <laughs> no, yeah, Max stole one. He tried to steal one. No he way. might like it. No, no. he needs splinters. <laughs> My dad is helping us too. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. We're getting thinner now. You don't want it to be like water, but you want it to be not thick. And as you do like more of these projects, you'll start to find a consistency that works nicely with you and uh, your thickness. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, see this, Mom? See how thin that is? Mm hmm It's like very thin. So, here, I will. It's a lot of water. I know, it seems like a lot. Let's see. Be careful when you're initially stirring with the water in there because it does splash out really well. And the only, I know a lot of videos don't show mixing paint. Typically I wouldn't do a video of me um, like showing my whole process of mixing the paint because it is a little time consuming. But um, I wanted to do like a start to finish so that you guys could see like why things do the way, or why things are the way that they are and what, why they do what they do. So. I know, Erin, I'm from Virginia and my boyfriend is stationed in Maryland and we flew out yesterday morning because we had snow. Um, we flew out at the tail end of our little snowfall. I think we probably got like two inches. So now we're in Florida, South Florida. It's like 62 degrees here. Yes. It's really nice. Willa, my mom is not a crafter. She likes to use- I am a crafter. but. Not to this type. She likes to do um, loom knitting. Yes, and um, I also work with flowers. Oh yeah, and she does Ikebana. Ikebana flower arrangements. So, Which sorry. <laughs> I, no, I totally forgot that you do that, so thank you for reminding me. That's like her, her kind of thing. Are we ready? That gives her satisfaction. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. Well, some people, you'll see people pour on top, like they'll have this and they'll start dripping paint all over it while they're pouring their paints. That's fine because the paint is going to go over it. Um, but 
for the sake of this video, we're not gonna do that. So uh, for the final additive for these colors, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's treadmill belt lubricant. But what the reason we're buying treadmill belt lubricant is because it's 100% silicone. And the silicone is what's going to give you what's called cells in it. And I wish I had a photo. I guess I could pull it up on my phone. Where is my phone? It's being used to Oh, never mind. It's being used to hold my iPad. But um, you'll see the cells pop up and I'll point them out. But that again, that's what it looks like. 100% silicone. Um, or you can go to like AutoZone and they have um, like liquid wrench. And what is the other one? CRC. CRC um, are two different brands that sell silicone sprays in an aerosol can. You can use those too. Um, but this is what I ordered to Florida to have come. So when you're doing the silicone, you're going to be very careful because it drips out really quickly. You don't want to have it um, open too much. So that's about as far as I go when I open the bottle. So you go two to three drops depending on the cells that you want so this one we'll do two so one two oh three so we'll do three because it already came out you want um, to stir it i'll show you how how we're going to stir these so with the silicone you're not going to mix it in thoroughly like you would mix the paint with the glue and the liquitex the um, pouring medium you're just going to like stir it just a few times and that's it you don't want to mix the the silicone in too much so, I'm going to try to do two, but if it does three, that's okay. I was about three. I'm going to do a little more in the yellow. I think it's stirred. Okay, that's good. You don't want to do it too much. Um, and, okay. Um, the reason <laughs> um, Karis, you're so funny. The reason you don't want to like stir it too much is because if you um, over stir the silicone, you're going to get smaller cells. The less you stir it, the bigger the cells you'll get with the silicone. Oh, I just stirred that. Chase is looking at the colors that I'm going to use on mine. I guess I'll show you the colors really quick that I'm going to do. So while I was at Target, um, just picking up some plastic cups. And I was using the plastic cups for the sake of the video so that you could see like what the paint looked like and such. And then when we start pouring it into the main cup, you can see the different layers and what it looks like. Um, Target sells acrylic paints, which I didn't know, but it is expensive. It's like $2.50 for one bottle. Um, but they have cute little colors and I wanted neons and I also wanted to do like um, gold and light copper as well. So I just picked those up while I was there. All right. So mom, this is what we're going to do. Uh, what color do you want to start with? It doesn't matter what color. Blue. Because it's Please. not like when you pour it, it's not going to go like in rainbow order. If you go in rainbow order, it does whatever it wants to okay. do. So um, this one might be, oh, no, that's good. So you're gonna pour from up high. I guess for the first color, it really doesn't matter how high you pour from. You're gonna go a little bit at a time. Don't pour your whole cup of color in at one time because you need to build layers. So I only did like that much, not a lot at all. So um, whatever color you wanna do next, pour it from up high just a little bit at a time, as much or as little as you want, but I wouldn't recommend doing the whole cup. Let me move these ones off to the side so that you can see her cup. Um, Stephanie, we're doing, I'm not sure what brand this is. Oh, it's by Impressa. It's treadmill belt lubricant. It's from Amazon. I need a napkin. Quick. Mom, mom, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. on my nails. It's, it'll come off. 
Oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Right. Don't mix the paint. Um, I'm more worried about my finger. Um, Thank you. <laughs> it's okay if you get dirty. This is a dirty craft. It's not a I clean know, craft. I know, but I have my she nails done. Little... <laughs> yeah, we, I do too. You'll be okay. <laughs> they're there. Oh, they're there. <laughs> okay, anyway, so <laughs> go ahead and keep doing your thing. I'll wear gloves the next time. Yeah, a lot of people do wear gloves if you if that's oh, look at it. Get it Mom, it's again. not gonna ruin your nails. It's not. I promise. You'll be fine. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. <laughs> Everybody always laughs at me. Oh. <laughs> I'm human. Okay, you know? that's, that's good. Okay. Why don't you just do it? No, because this is your painting. Okay. Um fine. yellow. Yellow. Oh yeah, you might want to do some yellow if you haven't done that yet. Look at how pretty that is on top. And it's already like selling up. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. That's because of the silicone. So keep okay. keep doing layers of it. I see. Mm -hmm. Until I'm done with the paint. Until you're done with the paint or until you have, I feel like this might be enough. And I'm sorry, but I don't have like an exact amount per size um, for your canvas. So I can't tell you how much paint you need or don't need. It's just how good it flows and how good or how bad it flows. Like it just depends on how it works out. Ooh. Yeah, it's Patricia, close. I have mixed um, glitter in the paint and it works just fine. It's very pretty. Or I hold the bottle of glitter like far away from it and I just blow the glitter mm -hmm. off the top of it to get just a tiny little bit okay, of sparkle that's more on it. Than you said. Okay, so this is what it. It doesn't ruin your nails, I promise. She's not a messy person. <laughs> she doesn't like <laughs> messy nails. I don't mess in the dirt either. Someone said they love it. Keep your nails nice, boo. <laughs> I got mine done yesterday too, and no, okay. they okay. And the nice thing about um, acrylic paint, um, if you start to get really bottom? dirty, it's fine if there's paint right here. Um, it's fine if you get like acrylic paint on your hands. Um, Dawn dish soap. It comes right off um, as soon as you're done crafting. It's just as easy as that. So what you do is you take your canvas and she's got her That's a cup lot. full of paint. It looks like a lot, but you need a lot. I, oh my. <laughs> you're making me nervous, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. So anyway. <laughs> Squidward. Like you go catastrophic. Yeehaw. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> They're all like backing up and running away from me. It's called Flip Cup. That's what this one is. So you dump it upside down like this. And let me bring the iPad closer. And I'm going to have my mom pick it up. I'm going to put it closer to the middle oh, of the really? table though. I'm so... Oh yeah, you're doing this. To your... It's going to all fall out on the table. Well, yeah. That's why we have this plastic bag down. Oh, well... You'd have to hold it like that. If you want to, you don't have to. My boyfriend's being sweet and he's holding the camera. So just give the top a nice tap to get as much paint down as possible. It said that we're making people's day. <laughs> okay, because I guess it's because we're like polar opposites. Okay, so if you want, um, you can go ahead and pick up the cup. Go ahead, pick it all the way up. Oh. It's gonna get all over the table, Jackie. <laughs> That's the point, Mom. <laughs> Can't we get some paper towels around here? Mom, it's, it's why we... <laughs> oh See the cells in it? That's what the silicone does. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't think, think I like the colors in this. I don't either. It looks like poop. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> I don't, that's not your fault. It's just how the colors... Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It up a lot. Look at the cells on the bottom there. It's really fun. <laughs> and you want to, again, you want to make sure that you have enough that flows off. I think this one turned out yuck. But it's not because <laughs> my mom made it. It's just because the colors didn't work well together. Um, Dad, do you have your um, your creme brulee blowtorch? No? Where is that torch? You said he does have it. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, if you have a blowtorch, or <laughs> everyone's laughing at me, or if you have like a heating substance of some sort or another, the heat, the heat will start making cells appear. Even if you blow on it, you can just blow on it and it'll pop the blowing. bubbles and I think getting... yeah, yeah, it's starting to create more cells. To use butane or something. We're not gonna start a fire, Mom. Here, right here. I'm not holding that thing. I'm not asking you to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run this over the counter, so don't mind me, I'll be right back. <laughs> Can you get the iPad to me? I'm gonna No, I'm gonna rinse off my hand. you just not use it? No, I need to use it. I need to show them what the difference is between using it and not using it is because this is an instructional video. <laughs> you know, sometimes things happen to, or used to happen to uh, Bill Gates. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> You're very nice. Okay, thank you. Okay. Babe, do you mind holding the uh, iPad? I'm back, I promise. <laughs> Everyone's still laughing. All right. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in a while. Who's that? We people watching. People. Yeah, everyone thinks we're hilarious and <laughs> not my face, sweetie, <laughs> the picture. <laughs> okay, so this is what the, the torch does. How do I do this? Oh. Just a little it bit of heat. It, it brings out cells in the picture. It looks a lot better. See? you use at your house? It burns off the extra silicone. I, I don't use a torch at my house. Okay. Um, I can You can use a heat gun if you have a heat gun for your cups and stuff. Same thing. So you can just, it. what I was saying is it burns off the silicone and it also brings out more cells in the painting. So that's um, what happened with hers. I'll show you mine. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Do you want to put something over that so you don't get the bottom all gross? Um, if you want to. <coughs> Galen, you are so sweet. Yeah, Tessa, like, it, it does come out much better when the cells pop through because of all the different colors that are kind of coming up from underneath um, that look nice. Everyone is helping me, and I really like that. Like, my boyfriend and my dad and my dog. You just do it on top of there. Look how good he is. <laughs> Can He's you do the same He's a keeper. <laughs> on a cup? Brenda, um, what I'm going to do when I get home is I'm going to try the dirty pour method, not the flip cup method. I'll show you the dirty pour and the flip cup on the same canvas um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm, if I like the dirty pour, then I'm going to try it on a cup. Some people are doing um, the dirty pour like from the bottom of the cup but I don't paint the bottom of my cup. So what I would do is have it on my pool noodle um, and pour it on top of the cup while I rotate it. Um, I don't know how that would turn out though. Like I just, I haven't tried it on a cup yet, but you can, it's possible. People are starting to do that now. I want you to see the dog. <laughs> my mom wants you to see her dog. Smack. She likes the dog more than she likes me. He gives me hugs. <laughs> yeah, I don't hug. I'm not a hugger even if you're my mom. Yes. So, um, if you guys have, are now jumping on, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my paints for my canvas now. And there are six colors, so I need seven cups. Your seventh cup is the one that you're gonna be pouring or flipping. Actually, I'm gonna do eight cups, just because 
Um, I'm gonna do a dirty pour on the outside and I'm gonna do a flip cup in the middle, just like mom just did. Some of these colors? I can do more of these colors on another canvas. I have eight canvases right now, so I can always keep using this paint and not just throw it away. Um, and it will, it comes out different every single time. Like it doesn't always mix exactly the same. Well, I said that your dog is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna try out these Target paints and see how I like them. Just got them in the craft, their little crafting aisle at Target. Someone told me that I better hug mom. <laughs> I really don't hug people like I don't, don't hug me. Please don't do it. It still uh, works, Dad. Oh, he's putting more butane in it. Okay. Do you want to look at how cool yours turned out? I saw it. It did look much better. I'm going to eat paint. Aww. Sandy, we had a golden before him, and it was like really hard. When my parents got another one, I hated, not hated him, but he just wasn't Ginger. You know, he wasn't my dog. This is Max. Yeah, this is Max. <laughs> He's circling. Thank you, Serenity. <laughs> and Jennifer said hugs for mom, so they're virtually <laughs> hugging you for me. Okay, thanks. Okay, so it seems like this acrylic paint from Target is a little bit thicker. Daddy, that's enough. He's, he's having really a lot of fun right now torching my mom's painting. Probably hoping it burns to the ground, but. It actually turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's really cool like that. Are you proud of yourself? It looks like that, yes. uh, that new camouflage pattern they have. That... Mm -hmm. The boys are over there admiring yeah. it. Yeah, using more blue. Mom. Oh, it's Okay, so this color that I'm pouring right now is called Hot Coral from Target. It's a really cute color. I'm trying to do some neons in this one because I've seen a dirty pour where it was with neons and it was beautiful. Keisha, um, I'm glad you asked. I am starting over now since we did one painting. I'm doing a second painting right now for those of you who did miss the beginning. Um, this is just acrylic paint, nothing crazy. Um, and we add in our silicone. And I'll show that to you again with this. It stays. You can you can do it so that it's deleted when you're done doing your live, or you can do it to stay. I'm gonna save it and probably put it on my YouTube channel. Do you want to show her the finished product or show them? No, it takes like a day or two to dry completely, okay. if you were wondering. We got here yesterday and we still have a couple days left in Florida, which is why I wanted to do it about now. So Chase right now is going to show you what it looks like after. Can they see it? No, they can't. Oh, they can probably see the picture. Oh, no. I mean, it looks better in person than it does on the screen. Someone's laughing right now. <laughs> so, um, just so you guys know, um, purples and oranges tend to make poop color. <laughs> they tend to make poop color. <laughs> I'm trying to be honest with you guys. I want to be open and honest about all of this. And I'm trying sometimes to use very descriptive good. terms and my mom isn't happy. Sometimes it's not good to be honest. Yellow, and red, honest. yellow and red makes orange. <laughs> Sometimes it's not good to be honest. Yellow and red makes orange. Good job, Dad. <laughs> um, Tessa, I plan to seal it with a varnish. I don't remember. It's a Liquitex varnish. Um, and what you do, um, after a couple of days, you do one coat of that varnish, very thin, it's not a thick coat, you just brush it on with a wide paintbrush like this thick, 
Um, and you can, um, after one coat, you wait 24 hours and do the second coat. Even though it dries in a few minutes, you have to wait a whole day to do your second coat and potentially a third coat. And it brings the colors right back just like epoxy does. So it doesn't, it dries dull, like it looks dull and it's not really the same looking painting the next day or the day, two days after you make it. But, um, where are my tops? But anyway, the varnish brings it back. Baby, do you know where my purple top is? You guys may have seen me, oh, <laughs> right in front of me. What other comments do I have that I haven't answered yet? They saw a gorilla face in the painting. A girl, what? <laughs> a gorilla face in the painting. Harambe. Is it, oh, maybe Harambe came back to life. Are you going to post this video when you finish? I have to get off. Casey, yeah, I'm going to post this video on the group. I'm going to save it on there. And then I'm also going to um, post it on my YouTube channel. If you just look up my name, Jacqueline Appel, on my YouTube channel, um, I'm going to upload it there today as well. He saw me go over there and was like, are you going to give me Well, there's other treats in here. That's why. That's why I gave him one of those little ones. Yeah, Keisha, don't use expensive paint for this. You don't, there's no need to, and you can always mix the colors that you want. These are 50 cents from Walmart. The apple barrel, get them from Walmart. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Um, but these are a little pricier, but they were really pretty, and I, you know how we get a little impulsive, like when we're buying glitter and stuff? Same, same deal. My boyfriend and my mom are rolling their eyes at each other right now at me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just every time she goes to Michael's, she can't put everything in her hands. And her boyfriend told her, you can only take what you can carry. And then she keeps dropping. Yeah, when stuff. my boyfriend comes with me, I can't even grab a little hand basket at my bowls. Like, no buggies, no hand baskets. And he puts blinders on me. And I can only buy what I can hold in my hands. It sounds and like something his father told him when he was a little boy. <laughs> I don't know. But, so I go to Michael's alone. <laughs> not, not with him. Um, yeah, Jessica, right now I'm doing a metallic. It's called 14K Gold. They also had a 24K Gold, a different color. Um, we're going to see how this works with Me water because um, a heads up. Um, not all of these metallic colors mix well. Um, I can't tell you what works and what doesn't work because I've only found what works. So Apple Barrel from Walmart, those metallic colors mix just fine. Um, and I didn't need to do an additive, but you can always put glitter in with your paint as well. I know all of us have glitter, we've got tons of it. You can mix it in with your paint or you can just take the bottle of glitter like in front of it and just go and just blow like whatever comes off the top to make it um, not too glittery. Are those empty? I think those ones are done. Light copper. Yeah, I have two um, pour cups. That's why. I guess I jumped into helping too late. No, you didn't. See the man out there is practicing golf. Oh, is that what he was doing? Are you saying my boyfriend's cute or the dog? Because I think they're both <laughs> cute. <laughs> Oh, we saw Dick out earlier, Mom. They don't say that in the videos. That's what we call him. That's his first name. Yeah. Is it really Richard? Yes, it is. Oh, we call her next door neighbor Dick. <laughs> his name is Richard. <laughs> People are laughing at us. It's really fun for me to do these lives. I like how interactive it is. Okay, so again, we have our paints um, all in our cups, and now we're gonna do glue. Approximately a one-third ratio of the amount of paint that you have in the cup to glue. It, it doesn't actually have to be one-third, but that's just what I'm saying. It's like, it's not a science. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. It, right, it's not an exact science. It sounds like Ina Garten on Food Network. 
<laughs> Does she say that? Yes, it doesn't have to be exact. And you have to be careful because I only have these two bottles of glue. It's definitely not efficient to do it with that. No. I was just waiting for you to figure that out. <laughs> Sure, yes, my mom is very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> she means well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I don't think I put enough in here. Tell them what we did today. That should be okay. Today, since we're visiting my parents in Florida right now, let me show you my back, like, what I got going on behind me right now. Like, look at that beautiful weather and the palm trees. I'm sorry that our little bird cage thing is, like, in the way, but... Anyway, that's what we got going on for our little vacation visiting mom and dad. Um, my mom wanted me to tell you guys that today we went to a turtle rescue. In, what is it called? Loggerhead? Logger Hut. Head Turtle Marine Life. In, Marine Life Center? Yes. I think that's what in, it's called. It's in Juneau Beach. So, um, anyway, it was really cute. They had 14 patients there. Little um, turtles that they were rescuing. Little, little turtles. Well, I mean, like there was. And over. <laughs> no, they had turtles that were, that were like 178 pounds, but they're cute. And so, what, and two of them were on gurneys. Yeah, they, they had them on like like little wheelie things. They were strapped in <laughs> and everything. Stretchers. Yeah, turtle stretchers, <laughs> like at the hospital, and they were on IVs. Like it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm sure they were in pain, but it was adorable. Then, then they were taken in the, by the gurneys back to their. Uh, the water, what do they call them? Tubs? Oh, yeah, they're all tanks. Tanks. Um, Aaron, where are you from that you're getting the snow? Because um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're missing it in Virginia right now. We saw the beginning of it um, before we flew here. Okay, so I've got my glue. I'm going to mix it in thoroughly. And remember that this Elmer's glue dries clear, so it's not going to... Like if you mix it in with black or if you mix it in with red, it's not going to make gray or pink or whatever. It'll still be red. That's what you do for kids and then they tear it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so. Abingdon, where is that in Virginia? I actually just looked that up recently. I think I shipped I an order there. That far. Maybe near Richmond. Near Richmond. Maybe. They had his, uh, Chase's twin had a, like a foot of snow down in Virginia Beach. This, the, yesterday, I guess it was. Orange, oh, okay, Orange County, 40 minutes from New York City. Oh, not New York City. Woodbury Commons, what's NYC then? But I do know Orange County. Yeah, Caitlin, I know you're near Albany. So I have a really good girlfriend. Um, I used to live up in Watertown for a year when I was going to school. And you sound just like my friend. So when I saw your very first live, I was like, Lauren, is that you? You have like the upstate New York accent, I guess. I went to school in Troy for two years. My mom is from Watertown too. So... Yeah, it's, Nessa, I think it's 62 degrees here right now. It's mm -hmm. pretty warm today. Yesterday it was cold for them, but for us it was like a heat wave. What was it, like 48 or something? It was 45 45. This 45 it was 45 this morning, and for Floridians, that's like, <sighs> <laughs> but for us it's warm because the last week it's been like 16, 17 degrees. And you can see that there's like paint on my canvas from the bottom of the cups. For those of you who didn't watch the beginning of the video, it doesn't matter. Um, Cause the paint will just cover over it anyway. I hope I have enough um, to put in both cups of this. Or I'll just use these and show you how to do a pour. Yeah, Michelle, like huge. I, when I <laughs> was living in Watertown, there was this um, car dealership commercial and every time it came on, it was huge. <laughs> I could have died. Because that commercial came on like every five minutes. Uh, someone lived in Copenhagen for two years near Watertown. I know it. I get a lot of snow <laughs> here. 
sandy, 28 degrees in Myrtle Beach. I'm wearing my Myrtle Beach shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have my glue mixed in, and now I'm gonna do, where did my Lipitex go? It mixed, it blended in. So this wasn't working as a paint thinner as I thought it was supposed to. But anyway, uh, people said that you're supposed to use it, so I'm gonna use it anyway. I'll show you the um, bottle in just a second. So I'm doing like a teaspoon of this. I don't. I haven't been using Liquitex in my other paintings and they turned out just fine, but I figured I'd try it for the sake of this video. It's a pouring medium and it's supposed to act as like a um, uh, paint thinner, uh, but it wasn't thinning my paint a minute ago if you guys weren't watching before. So I just use water and not, not all acrylic paint works well with water. We're gonna see how the Target one works with water. Um, but anyway, you don't want your paint to be thick because you need it, I'm sorry, you're seeing like half my head. Uh, you don't want the paint to be thick um, because you need it to be able to spread all over the canvas for those of you who are jumping on a little bit later. Someone said, can you do it with three colors? Can you do it with how many? Three. Three colors? Um, yes, you can do it with three colors. I actually prefer doing it with three colors. The more colors you get, the uh, more likely it is to mix um, together. And you kind of want to avoid it mixing. But um, today I wanted to try a whole bunch of different colors. Totally Torrey. Between Watertown and Lowellville. Yeah. Lowell yeah, yeah, yeah. Lowellville. I've, I've heard of Copenhagen. I've been to Copenhagen. I just wanted to, to um, like, tell her, like, Copenhagen, New York, not Denmark, because we've been to both. So. My mother's dentist used to be in Lowellville. <laughs> um, Tony, I'm not sure how, what your age is, and I don't need you to tell me. I'm not asking your age. But um, my grandfather had the Globe Store. The Globe Store in Watertown. When was that? A long time ago. It uh, went out of business in 1977. So it was a while ago. But anyway, he owned the Globe Store. It was in our family for three generations. And he was a um, a co-founder or a trustee on the he board. He was a trustee for Jefferson Community for College for SUNY Jefferson. So um, that's why I went up there. For a little while no you went up the well I have my boyfriend reason. here and my mom is going to um, throw me under the bus <laughs> as to another reason why I was up there but I was up there to go to school there yay school <laughs> <laughs> Darla it's a beautiful day in Florida the Floridians don't think so but I'm from Virginia and I think it's wonderful the sun is out yeah, the sun it's is out. Blouse. It's like so nice outside right now. Oh my God, how much snow do you have in British Columbia? I've never been up there. <laughs> Ooh, I, I don't do well with the cold. I The closest I got to Canada was 30 miles south of it in Watertown and it was like, oh no, thank you. Okay, so I mixed in the Liquitex and now I'm gonna do water. Do a little bit of water at a time to thin out your paint because you, like I said before, you can always add more but you can't take it out once you've mixed it in um however you can add paint but i used up the whole bottle you've been to vancouver jackie i've been to vancouver and like because we went to alaska correct but it was june and, july june or and july vancouver is in british columbia oh i have been <laughs> i didn't know that geography is hard she wanted to have a drink but they there's a rule there that you have to be 19 and she was 18. Oh, okay, okay. I was there um, in 2012 to 13. Mm -hmm. I burst your bubble. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you ever went to, like, if you ever bought like a formal dress while you were stationed up there um, from like A Touch of Grace, that's my friend's mom's shop in Watertown. It sounds like I'm like advertising. I'm not advertising, I promise. I was just letting you know what's up there. She said Vancouver's Alaska. not far. Denise, Alaska was so much fun. Um, but again, I don't do well with the cold. So the winter, no, 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 no. We were in the, there during the during summer. During the summer, right. I can do it during the summer for like vacation, but I, I could never live there. We have friends that live in Homer 
Um, Alaska. Right, and they love it there. He's and they just had a moose in their backyard. It was huge. I don't know if, for those of you who have not seen a moose in person, they're huge. They're terrifying. They're mean. They're scary. <sighs> Especially if you see a baby moose because mama moose isn't too far. And she won't be happy if he falls. Ooh, Denise lived in Fairbanks for almost three years, Alaska. Wow. I, well, I guess you're probably stationed there. But Okay, I'm sorry that it takes so long to mix the paints. And again, typically I don't mix the paints um, on video just because it takes a little while, but I wanted you guys to see what um, goes on in this whole process from start to finish so that I can answer questions. Now we're hoping that this copper and my gold work out well, because I know that metallics have a little bit of a harder time mixing with certain things and substances and stuff. I'm not a painter, like I'm not good with painting, so I don't know, I just know how to do these. And how did you learn this? Um, I learned this, where is the first place I saw it the other day that I became obsessed with it? Pinterest. Probably Pinterest, to be honest. And you learned how to do it yourself? Pinterest and YouTube, yeah. Lots of videos. But you guys understand watching videos to learn things, just like we're doing today. Okay, so I'm trying to mix this so that it's not too thick because we need it to cover the canvas and we need it to pour well. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. I need it to be a little more runny. I know, I know. I want them to, the canvas is what's more important, not really my face. I have an at home audience right now and a live better. audience. Thank you. Is it too forward at all? No, it's, it's fine. That's good. Because you can see the whole canvas, the whole thing is in there. Thanks, babe. Um, Marlene, my boyfriend, is um, Air Force. He's stationed in Maryland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, at Andrews Air Force Base. That's what he does. Can you read that to me? That's a lot to read. Hi, Ella. She's nine. Has a friend. She's watching my videos and really interesting. Turn on LOs. I've been watching the paint for videos, Mixed Media Girl. Yeah, I was just watching Mixed Media Girl today. Every night for the past two weeks. I know, Serenity, me too. I've been obsessed with watching these dang videos. Do you have a name? No, my name on my YouTube channel is my name. Oh, maybe you need to make a name. Poor girl. What? Poor girl. <laughs> Poor girl would be a good name for me. Oh, well, it's not very <sighs> Well, what is that one TV show? Two Broke Girls or whatever? Maybe. I don't have cable. One of you guys probably know the answer to that. Oh, no, no, I'm not serving humans. I know what you mean, Marlene, but I'm not serving. But thank you. I've been watching the paint pour. Oh, okay, good. I think I'm almost caught up to all the comments. I'm sorry if I'm not answering your comments right now. Um, if I don't see them, I like to go back through the comments that you guys have left afterwards and I type back to your responses. So I like to, res I like to respond to everybody that like I may have missed beforehand. These are just about um, thin enough to my liking. You don't want it to be like water, but you don't want it to be as thick as it is when it comes out of the bottle. Okay. Should do this one? Mm hmm Maybe a little more water in this one. Someone said yes to broke girls. 
Yeah, Two Broke Girls is a TV show. Oh. So, poor girl. <laughs> but I'm not all my videos are about pouring. Like, I do cut videos, oh, too, and stuff. Oh, you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, like, play on words because I'm poor. Mm -hmm. Help me. <laughs> do you have to use the silicone drops? Is it only to make the cells? Jennifer, the silicone is only to make the cells. Um, I tried using coconut oil for my first attempt and it didn't really turn out that well. Um, I may not have used enough. I may have over stirred it. I don't know, but um, I used a silicone spray. Uh, I, oh yeah, I did say that earlier in the video. I'll show you my silicone again. Um, by the way, this is the Liquitex pouring medium if I didn't show you like five minutes ago. But that's what I used in here as well. And when you're, you, when you're pouring your glue in, it's not Elmer's school glue, it's Elmer's glue all. That's what I use in mine. Just because that's what a lot of other people have been using in the videos that I've been stalking. Someone said to put thumbtacks in the corner so it doesn't stick to the wax paper. Yeah, so um, that's a good point. Who said that? Jamie, thank you for saying that. So a lot of people put thumbtacks, like one in each corner, so that when you put it on your wax paper or your aluminum foil or wherever you have it to sit to dry for a few days, it allows the bottom of the canvas, like on the edges, to dry. And also it allows uh, it to not stick to the wax paper whenever you're finished. And so it just pours off the edges onto the wax paper underneath. Good point. Okay, so... I'm gonna start with copper, I guess. Just, a, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't mix in silicone. And you don't have to have silicone in every color. It doesn't matter. So, just because we miss it in that you isn't a big deal. One. Oh, that one's open, okay, thank you. This is my silicone. I got it on Amazon again. But you want 100% silicone, okay? Treadmill boot, belt lubricant. There's one in a green and black and white bottle or label. And then there's also this one. This one obviously um, worked out cell-wise just fine. Um, and you don't want too much silicone. Um, the more silicone that you use, I believe, the bigger the cells that you get. So some people do like two or three drops. I'm just eyeballing it, but I'm gonna do a little bit in some and more in others. I don't know who thought of this. That's a good question. It's worth a Google. So when you put in the silicone, you're only gonna give it like, you're only gonna stir it a little bit because the more you stir it, the smaller the cells will be. And you pour it from up high and you only do a little bit at a time because you want layers. So just stir it a couple of times. This one could be a little as much in as I did. Okay. I My mom is afraid of messes and I'm not. She's commenting on oh, I know on it well. <laughs> I'm not afraid of It's hard to like do art projects if you're super careful. So um, purple oh. and She's got to clean all this up. We're leaving in an hour. She's She's stressing out, y'all. I'm sorry. She's having a hard time with all of this crafting and time. And Why do you pour hot? Explain it. Uh, it gets it to the bottom of the cup, and it mixes it a little bit better. Some people take um, their popsicle stick, and they do like one or two, like a cross, or just a straight line swipe through to get it to mix in a little bit. You don't have to. You can. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back through my colors, do some more. I've got copper and a light gold in here, if you guys are wondering. Oh, I didn't put copper pretty. in this one. It does look really pretty. If you could see it in the top of the cup, it's beautiful. If you've watched it on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's so nice on the tops. Okay. 
It's like Lisa Frank in these cups. Why are you doing two cups versus one? Good question, Mom. I am doing the, um, um, in the middle, I'm going to do the flip cup. And on the outside, I'm going to do the pour so that they can see the difference between the pour and the flip cup. So you just do one, one of each because this cups are really big and the middle pour one might just over cover the middle one? Because um, if you made like one half the size, it'd be super pouring, but there's going to be so much. Yeah, we'll see. Um, do you think that's enough? I think that's enough. I think it's more than enough. Okay, so I have about this much in my cup right now. And I wish I could show you, there you go. It's really pretty on the inside. But I don't want to mix it up too much by like moving it all around. So look, someone said, I agree, two canvases. Serenity, should I do two different canvases? Because I have another one. Yes, oh, you Okay, should. okay, okay. It's mm -hmm. unanimous. So then, how about I do the... And then show side by side, see? Okay, I can do side by Where's side. It needs more... Uh, Wax paper. It's a family affair today, guys. Okay, so for the flip cup again, for those of you who missed the flip cup, and then the other one, that was a good point. I will do the pour on the other cup or on the other um, thing, my bob. So you hold it like this and you just flip it, and the paint doesn't go everywhere until you pick up the cup or if you get crazy with it. Some people do really big canvases, and it's like, oh, my dad and my boyfriend are getting creative and trying to figure out different ways to pour paint and stuff. Well, what would you do if you had a huge canvas? Do you mix the paint with yeah. something first? Gabby, yes, I mixed my paint with Elmer's Glue All, not school glue, and Liquitex pouring medium. I got this from Amazon because I didn't find it in the store. Um, and then you do like two or three drops of the silicone um, spray or just the drops. Um, whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my cup and this is what it looks like when you do the pour if you haven't seen it before. This canvas, Jennifer, is a 12 by 12. What is this called? Christy, this is called flow art or flow painting. Um, it's called a dirty pour because there's more than one color in it. Um, but this is flip cup, not dirty pour, I guess, uh, from what I gather, um, because you're flipping the cup, not like the game. So. Sorry, you can't see it right now. I will get it to your viewing <coughs> comfort in a second. I think I like it better when I do like three colors instead of six. Um, the fewer you, the better. Yeah, the fewer the better, I think. If you mix too many, then it tends to. Yeah, it kind of comes out funny with too many colors. So I recommend doing like three. This is a little thick. It's not really dripping <clears throat> as fast as the other one. Enough to get the other one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like this. We'll see, the dirty pour might come out a little bit better, the, um, the pour one, instead of the... Um, it also helps if, you take, if, you, if you're wearing a glove, it helps if you take off whatever's coming, like falling off, and you put it towards the sides, and you help it like move. Because then it'll want to follow that. Can you scoop it back up and trip it onto it? I don't know if you would want to do that, but that's a good point. I guess if you carefully scoop it back up, it might drip better. 
Okay, so this is the flip cup. Almost done. And babe, can you um, bring the iPad again over there so I can torch this one? I'll yeah. show you what the Take torching looks here. like. Or dip it in there. Okay. And you want to make sure that you get enough because it'll make the canvas sag and um, it won't dry properly, it'll crack. So that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. Just um, Dawn dish soap and I agree works really well. That is it coming out nice. No, okay. See it's starting to pop out a little more. Oh, good. The metallics are really showing up in this one, the gold and the copper. And so the heat, just like a heat gun on our cups, pops the air bubbles and it brings the silicone out. It shows more cells. Um, so if you have a heat gun at home and not a blow torch, this is a creme brulee torch that my dad just so happened to have. Um, if you have a, a heat gun instead, that works just as well um, for this. Or you can use a hair dryer, or you can even blow on it. Do you want to try right there and pop those cells, the bigger ones? I don't think I like how this is turning out. It's popping some. Marlene, for the most part, it will be very smooth, um, but when acrylic paint dries, it's very dry. Um, like feeling, like texture, it's very dry. So um, when you use the Liquitex varnish on top when you're sealing it, just like epoxy, it'll bring back the, the brightness and the, um, the nice shine to it. And um, as your painting sits for a little while, it will also start to get um, more cells. I think it looks cool now that the cells are out. I'm gonna pour a little more paint into this cup because I'm pouring it instead of, there's a lot of bubbles in this as opposed to the, um, the Apple Barrel brand. This is, again, the Target brand. So I'm just using up the rest of this paint so that I have enough for my pour. When you pour, as opposed to doing flip cup, it really shows the different layers um, that we're trying to achieve here. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so here's my cup, and there are my colors in there. It's really pretty. It's fun to do this. I really enjoy it. It's really relaxing. Um, Dana, I do like three parts paint, one part glue, a teaspoon of Liquitex. Some people do more than that. Um, there's no real like exact science to it because everyone does their own ratios, I feel like I've seen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour. That's cool. I prefer 
through there. You like the pour better? Much better. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get it on the edges and on the corners. You can torch it now or you can torch it after you move it around. Your decision. It's your world. Okay, so there's the inside of my cup. It's really cute, really pretty. Um, for those of you who haven't noticed, this is a very messy craft. If you don't like to get messy, it's probably not for you. It's just a part of the process. You can help direct the paint in different directions if you would like to. Let me get this one empty spot. It'll start to fill itself in better. And you um, want to get as much paint off of the canvas as possible. And I know it sucks because once you have it looking really pretty like this, you don't want to um, lose any of it, but you kind of have to move it around a bit so that you don't have too much paint so it dries nicely. Like, I don't want to lose what I have on it right now, but I probably have to. My mom is ready like she's holding a barf bag <laughs> for me to carry this over to the counter. Very messy. Isn't it pretty though? Yes, Look at that's it. the prettiest. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference between the pour and the put cup. Okay, ready? I need you to run with me. I will, Jackie. Okay. Well, you don't like to get messy. Alright, I'm gonna rinse my hands again. Hey, who gave you this towel that says a messy kitchen is a happy kitchen? I'm going to get ready. You didn't buy this? <laughs> My mom hates messes, I swear. <laughs> Everyone said that they could see your reflection in the window of you cleaning. Okay, they so. Feel for me. I don't know if they feel for you. I think they just think it's comical. No. All right, so I'm going to torch this one. This is just a creme brulee torch. For those of you who don't know what you're looking at. I like that one the best. Yeah, this one is very pretty. Okay, so the cells are starting to come up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying not to cover the camera. Oh God, somebody hold it so she doesn't drop it. That okay. would be horrendous. Thanks, babe. A little more. Yeah. See it? How fun is that? I think I'm out of butane. Yeah. 
You have to push down the bottom button and then push the button. Oh, I didn't know that. So this burns off the excess silicone and it brings out cells. And you can see that some colors have more silicone in it than others because there's not as many cells. So I'm guessing the purple had a little more. So this is my mom's finished product. I don't like the colors, but it looks good. It's like earthy. Mm -hmm. This would look good in the um, upstairs bathroom. Mm -hmm. With the other colors that you have. This is the what the pour. And then this was the flip cup. The flip cup I recommend doing less colors. But in the pour, I think you're more successful in all of the colors coming out a little bit better. True. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So, I'm going to double check my iPad. Make sure, my little iPad. And make sure that I'm not missing any questions. And then... Um, I think we're pretty much done. So if you don't have any questions, I appreciate you watching and hanging out with us, with me and my whole family today. Um, but anyway, um, see, they, they like your green and they like the hints of blue in it. That's what they're saying. Um, and some of them say, I love your mother. Mother? Mom? Mommy? Mama? Mama? Mom? Mommy? Do you guys get my reference? Um, some people said I love your mother. Thank you. Somebody does. <laughs> she feels I'm love. <laughs> the dog is the only one who gives me hugs. Um, I think Jackie's very good at these. Mary, the paint that I used um, in my mom's painting and other paintings that I've done in the past, um, I really enjoy the Apple Barrel brand. 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. Or you can buy, obviously, the bigger bottles as well. Like, if you're doing a lot of white in your in your artwork, which is a very common color to use, buy a bigger bottle of white. Save yourself a little bit of um, time so you don't have to keep going back and buying more white because that's a common color. Um, you guys are so sweet. Um, I, in the beginning of the video, someone said that my mom and I are twins and I'm adopted. So I thought that was hilarious um, that someone said that. They look, yeah, they do look so different, Dana. They are very, very different. It's the pour shows more of your layers that you're achieving when you pour a little bit at a time. And the, um, the flip cup just kind of gets all crazy. And I do... The picture that I posted a couple days ago was a flip cup. It was not a pour. So the less color, I recommend using like two or three colors, maybe four maximum in a flip cup, but a pour, you, you are a little more successful with having less mixture. Um, Jamie, my dad was enjoying doing the heat gun part. Um, I'm doing... This is a craft at my son's birthday party for on a 4x4 canvas. Jamie, I think the kids will love it. And I was thinking that this is a really good party idea. It's a really good idea for kids. Um, it gets them involved, and I'm sure that they love making a mess of paint. Um, I think what I'm going to do, since I have an extra canvas and I have a lot of leftover paint from what my mom did, I'm going to go ahead and do one more um, rainbow. But I'll probably do a pour, and I'll show you. I'll send a picture of that um, on here. Um, um, Jessica, in my, um, in the pour, the metallic did not show up as much. Let me look again. Yeah, the metallic didn't come through as much as it did in the flip cup. And I used two different metallic colors, too. I used copper and a light gold. Tammy, it's so relaxing. I love this so much. I've become like very obsessed with it. I had a dream about it like three nights in a row this week. And I just started watching this like a week and a half ago. Do 
Tammy, I think that cell sizes um, differ between um, how much silicone you use, how much you mix your silicone into your paint, and um, or if you're not using silicone, if, or the spray. I have a spray at my boyfriend's house in Maryland. We're in Florida right now. I ordered all this stuff off Amazon to arrive while we were here so I could craft while I was vacationing. Um, but the spray, I was getting smaller cells. Um, with the uh, treadmill belt lubricant silicone, I was getting um, a little bit bigger cells. Okay, I don't think I'm seeing too many more questions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off because my mom is freaking out. We leave in 45 minutes for dinner and um, she thinks that that's not enough time for me to get dressed. So I'm going to get off and I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and my family today. Um, it was a family affair because we're visiting my parents in Florida for the week. Um, we're getting away from the snow in Virginia and Maryland. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon, a great weekend, and thank you for hanging out. Bye, guys.